Hi guys, I'm Sparkmaster Neon and this week is about having patience. Now what that means to me is sometimes you've done all you can. You've been giving it your all, staying true to your limits and pushing it further and further but eventually you hit that wall. You can't get anywhere forward, you're stuck. And a lot of times people have the mentality, I do too, a lot of times it's like, hey, I can't get through this, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to get through until I finish punching that hole in that wall, you know? <laughs> but the thing is, if you just stop, take a break, wait it out, a lot of times the answer will come to you. A lot of times we forget that patience is a thing, and good things come to those who wait. A lot of times we forget that a lot of, that sometimes... If you sit back and you wait for that right moment to strike, things are five times, 500 times even easier. And that's what this week's about. It's about having patience. Because, yeah, you can try and you can keep pushing on trying to get it as fast as possible. But a lot of times, you'll save a lot of energy. And strangely enough, a lot of time by patiently waiting and figuring it out. Patience is honestly one of the hardest things for a lot of people, including myself. I'm always like, hey, let's get this done as fast as possible. I want to make sure it's ready to go because if it's not, I might forget about it. <laughs> but the thing is, if, if we just have patience, if we sit back for a second and figure, hey, I'm not feeling well today. I'm going to take the day off. Let me see if there's other things I can do. You might realize you forgot something in planning. You forgot this. You forgot that. Or... You might even realize that, hey, it's tomorrow now, and I feel 100% greater. And you know what? My videos are going to be better for it. In my case, anyway. <laughs> you know, don't always try and do things right away, because if you th do things right away, you might be missing out on something that comes up. Go with the flow. Pace yourself. Be patient, because good things do really come to those who wait. And sometimes... You have to wait on change. You have this horrible situation you're in, but you can't find a way out. So all you can do is sit there and try and wait for that opportunity to get out of there. Sometimes you got enemy troops on all sides and firing negativity at you. And if, eventually they'll have to reload, right? So they all reload and you have that chance to get through and get out of there, you know? Like, for example, Let's say you're in a toxic work environment and you really, really need out. Like, you've had it. This is it. No more. It's not getting better. It's only getting worse. But you need that money to live. Because today's world, you need money for everything. The money makes the world go round. And sometimes that could be unfortunate. Um, but the thing is, you need that money. So what do you do? You have to find elsewhere for employment. So you start looking for jobs. But you can't leave that toxic job you're at because if you leave that, your your money's gone. You're not going to have any left, you know? <laughs> Unless you saved up a cushion and you can use that. But if you have a cushion, you might as well keep it there. If you can endure the hardships for the end payout, that amazing job you end up getting by waiting it out and figuring it out. Because the thing is, sometimes you have to wait for the right moment or an opportunity to present itself for you to be able to do something. You can't always do everything right that second because you'll be missing something that you would that you're gonna need in the future, you know? And that's uh and now I want to talk about so I always say shine bright and live a phoenix tale. I want to tell you guys about my third my third saying, my third phrase I tell myself this all the time. Because a lot of times I'll be nervous to do something or holding myself back because I'm like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. And that third thing is all you can do is try. You know? How do you know you can't do that unless you try? How do you know something's impossible unless you've tried it and you couldn't do it? You don't know anything until you've proven it to yourself. And that's honestly something I live by. Try everything. Put yourself out there. Go for it. Like, for example, where that this would apply to patience. For example, this is a hypothetical. You have a, fr a fight with your best friend, and you guys have a falling out. Now, you love that friend. They were your best friend 
All you can really do is let things cool down for now because you don't want to lose your best friend. So after a while, things have calmed down and you reach out. Let's say you send him a text, no response. Okay, you try to call him. They give you the voicemail. Leave a voicemail too, by the way. Try that. You show up at their house and they, was it? You hear them on the other side of the door, so you let you speak your heart out. You try to make amends the best way you can. And seemingly, they're just ignoring you. You've done all you can to fix that relationship. Now, at this point, you're the better person for trying. And if your friendship mattered to them, they'll find you and you guys will figure it out. But all you can do at that point, because you've tried everything, is be patient. Wait it out. Let time heal all wounds. Because it does. Time reveals the truth and it heals all wounds. All you have to do is wait and see. You have to be willing to wait and see. And waiting and seeing, that's being patient. And that's the thing. Sometimes you have to stop chasing. Sometimes that's all it takes to get what you want. Maybe it's not the right time at that given moment. Sometimes you've been trying so hard, you don't realize how much you've exhausted yourself. You need a break. You take a sit, take a sit back and think, okay, this isn't working, what can I do? And take your time and figure it out. It's called being patient. <laughs> now, the best example of this I can give is, I, I've seen it a hundred times. One of my guy friends, he's, he's head over heels for this girl. And he's like, you don't understand, Neon. I gotta, I gotta be with her. But nothing I do works. Every time I try to get to her attention, she looks the other way or she flirts back. And it's the most exhausting thing I can think of. No matter what I do, I can't get her attention. She, will, she keeps acting like she's into me. But then nothing happens. And I'm like, dude, you're trying too hard. Take a sit back. Pretend like you go on vacation for a week, disappear, see what happens. But be or have your friends show up or be around subliminally in her life for that week. Let her show her true colors. If she's into you, I bet you she'll come around. I bet you she'll try to figure out, hey, where'd he go? Or, hey, is everything all right? He's not around anymore. Or, hey, maybe the guy's in the friend zone. Sometimes that happens too. And she's like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Is everything all right? She sends him a text message like that. And I'm like, see, she cares. Quit chasing. You're trying too hard. And almost always, they stop chasing. They relax. They get patient. And they go with the flow. And guess what? They end up together. It's like magic. It's almost like you try too hard and you don't get it. But then you stop and boom. It happens. <laughs> You know, you'd be surprised at how many times just being patient can change things 110% for the better. And that's what it is. Being patient is about waiting for the right moment and seeing the truth and figuring life out. Because life isn't just something you can do by the seat of your pants. You have to think it through. You have to go forward. You have to think about the consequences because all actions have consequences. And you got to sit back and take it all in as you move forward. You have to be patient. And I think that pretty much covers this discussion on patience. If you have any questions or you have any comments to make, please leave them in the comments below. You want to see more, please subscribe. I'm Sparkmaster Neon, and as always, shine bright and live a phoenix tale.